5G is, is very much talked about mm -hmm. in the industry right now. Tell us what progress mm -hmm. has Docomo made with regards to 5G? Mm. Yeah, actually, yeah, so we have a lot of now uh, progress of the 5G in, in case of the technical side as well as the business side. Technical side, you may know that we will have the uh, first 3GPP 5G specification by this December. We are very much waiting for that. We also have a lot of uh, input for that to finalize the first release in 3GPP. That's the technical side. And also the business side, uh, important thing of the 5G is, we believe, partnership with uh, a lot of verticals. So we have started to open 5G trial site to uh, invite a lot of verticals to join the 5G use cases to jointly uh, creating that things. And with those trials, when do you now expect to be able to actually launch mm -hmm. commercial 5G? Yeah, Docomo are planning to launch the 5G system by year of 2020. 2020 is a great year for our Tokyo Olympic game in Tokyo. Therefore, that is one of the targets of our 5G launch. In terms of the technology uh, for 5G, Docomo has a history in the past of perhaps using slightly proprietary technology or versions, slightly different versions of, of, of standards. Um, what will be your approach for 5G? Will you, will you take a more open and, and standardized approach to 5G? Yeah, honestly speaking, many people misunderstood Docomo's uh, systems. Yeah, we definitely uh, completely in line with the 5, 3GPP technologies, 3GPP specification uh, in 3G, 4G as well. So uh, the <coughs> clear evidence is we can use the, uh, our smartphone in all, uh, all over the world by roaming. That is completely uh, the evidence we can in line with the 5G te uh, 3GPP technology on that. Dr Nakamura, we are here in London for Huawei's MBBF event. Um, tell us a little bit about your relationship mm -hmm. with Huawei. Huawei works with lots of operators, mm -hmm. um, but specifically Docomo. How has that developed and evolved over the last few years? Huawei is our great partners for the uh, not only 5G, but the fourth generation as well. Uh, we are now uh, using a lot of the uh, Huawei terminals in the market as well. And also in the 5G, we are now open innovation for 5G technologies. We are now having a certain uh, global vendors to collaborate for expanding our 5G technologies. Huawei is one of the most important partners in that uh, 5G uh, tested. So we are now collaborating with Huawei to expanding the uh, technical evolution of 5G systems. Dr. Nakamura, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Wish you all the success for uh, the Summer Olympics. Thank you very much.